Welcome back. Today I'm going to assemble a head, fight with autofocus, fight with cheap tools that should be used for measuring, and attempt to find out my true compression ratio. Let's see how that goes. N47 head off of an 80, uh, we'll say 79, 280ZX. Has a different combustion chamber, a little bit different layout. Uh, should up to compression. One of the things I want to do today is actually measure the combustion chambers to get the uh, volume to make sure they're within tolerance. I have no history on this head. The head is actually, I, I bought it off of Craigslist a couple years ago. The cam towers, are from an 80, 1980 Turbo 280ZX. Uh, I bought them off of eBay because I needed cam towers. The valve springs are crane valve springs. I'll put the part number in the description. They're actually for a Ford uh, four-cylinder 2.3. The retainers are iSKI retainers. The keepers are just ITM retainers that the shop had. Um, the cam towers were aligned by the shop so everything spins well. So I have no history on the head. Uh, when I got it, it had a cracked cam, cracked camshaft and I had to replace the towers because the front one was just torqued over. So I'll be putting it all together and seeing how it goes. I'll also be measuring the volume and the lift on the camshaft today. Okay, so as you can see, I didn't do a good job at measuring the volume. I never got an, active re an accurate reading. My eyedropper would always shoot out the water too fast. Uh, at one point there was water leaking into the water jacket, and at another point it was leaking into the oil passages. I think my plexiglass was a bit too big for it. Just several different things that went completely wrong when trying to measure the water. So I gave up and just blew it all off and started uh, assembling and measuring the camshaft. So let's jump to that fail. I haven't mentioned the camshaft that I have. It's a Nissan Original Motorsports part. Ugh. Genuine Nissan. Because, why not? This is the original cam card. It was a racer brown camshaft that was made for Nissan Motorsports back in... This one was made in 82. 102682. I don't know if that focused. Uh, but it's made for the car. It's supposed to have three... 0.325 valve lift. They had to shave it down to 0.322. So let's start by cleaning it up.
got everything cleaned up, get new gloves, and let's put the camshaft in. The front side of the head is this way. So, put some assembly lube on things, shall we? Not sure how much is too much, but I don't I don't want to do too little. So let's do it, shall we? Alright, let's go to there. Now, front of the camshaft is marked with a little keyway. Back of the camshaft usually has a hole or two. Some camshafts have this hollowed out, some don't, but it always has the markings on the back for at least the dots of the cam. Then we'll take our plate as the keyway, it has a little, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, there's a little mark on it, I'll highlight it or circle it, mark goes up, and I want to use some red Loctite because I don't want these bolts to ever move. Set it for nine pounds. Okay, so, so, damn it, wrong way. Nine pounds. All right. Two failed attempts to use this and this to measure the lobes and the valve lift. This, I don't know how accurate it is because my math tells me I should be getting around 0.47 valve lift um, because the cam, this actually mostly works. $5 digital gauge from Harbor Freight, I'll link that. But this thing, no, I can't recommend this gauge at all. Gauge is too flighty, too unsteady, even if you lock everything down, it still moves a lot um, and it just doesn't want to calibrate correctly. So, yeah. No, I'm not going to recommend this gauge. Total crap. This is okay. The math says they should have, uh, the rockers are 1.465-ish. Uh, at least all the math I've read. It's about what they're at. Somewhere between 1.4 and 1.5 is where everybody calculates the rockers. So 1.6 in that range and point one uh, give me 0.470 of lift but I can't get it with those tools so fuck it just gonna put the head together send it okay so let's do the head assembly this is not the final assembly but everything else should be close to it so let's do this eh
that was not fun, but it's done. Okay. All right, now we start setting lash. So let's go exhaust 0.5. going off of what the intake point five exhaust point seven so exhaust sink that was good heads all assembled and together the parts list is below in the description uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment or shoot me an email and that should be the final assembly for the head the cam sprocket is gonna have to come off again uh, I'm bummed that I wasn't able to measure the actual volume of the chamber, but using online calculators, I'm able to see that it's 44.6 cc, and with that it should give me a compression ratio of 9.97 to 1, so we'll say 10 to 1 to be safe. Uh, that does mean I'm only uh, going to be able to run premium gas, but I'm still able to run pump gas because it's not a race engine. There's also the valve lift, which I think if I use a rocker ratio of 1.46 uh, and times a 0.322 by 1.46, it comes up with 0 0.465, 0 0.468, somewhere in that neighborhood. That's a pretty good lift and that shouldn't affect things too much, just to give it a little kick. And there's been no other head work done. There's been no, nothing more than a valve job. There's been no porting, no honing on the head itself. So everything is as close to factory and I'll be running the stock uh, fuel injection intake on it. So join me next time when we put the head on the block. <laughs>